I was here in um, uh, Kobe University and I was learning about uh, how water could be responsible for various activities. I had long been uh, thinking that water wanted to be conscious. That's why it created a life in the planet Earth. 77% of my of my body is water. 73% of my brain is water. You can take a glass of water and you can put, uh, say, 73 um, uh, ml of um, water, a few pinch of uh, seven, eight grams of proteins and uh, say milk, collagen you take from milk. And um, uh, and the lactose, uh, and a little bit you add seven eight grams, few uh, grams of uh, salt, and um, and other some minerals, a little bit, and you you touch hundred, and then you find a a solution, and that is me, that is my brain, that is uh, giving the consciousness. What is the important thing is that. Um, Water is the host and those matters, tiny little matters of the guest. And a very interesting thought. That is, the if I go through water's atomic channels, hmm, uh, then those water channels are following very uh, uh, atomic scale pathway of arrangement, exactly the same arrangement as the matter. So for a moment, you can forget the entire body's mass totally you can delete then what you end up with is matter uh, that uh, that um, gave shape to the water channel but it's a unified single uh, molecule that has continuously created an architecture from an uh, alpha helices pathway to protein because protein is very wet it's if you squeeze it so much of water will come out of, of a single protein molecule uh, ion channels are continuously um, passing uh, water um, cerebrospinal fluid in the brain continuously pumping in a large amount and everything getting washed away is it is water's work is just like sweeping we use water word for all the bad things in life. Uh, watered away. I am in deep water. I am in deep. <laughs> if you want to say trouble, bad things or some things, you say water. But you are water. So you are always in water. So uh, the beautiful way we can look into it is that um, uh, water's architecture, the way it is, uh, every single matter has taken the geometric shape. Water has taken all the geometric shape. So if you forget matter, if you delete with a delete button, del, tick, and then you end up everything you had, all the geometries of your, uh, of entire thing in your body, and that is made up of water. So the water is creating this kind of um, a, a beautiful architecture. Uh, and if information processing is happening through matter, matter-matter interactions, then water has every single information, a part of it, licked by it and seen by entire water channel, which is continuous, non-disrupted at any place. Now, some people have started thinking after listening to this that... Um, there are some places where there is no water. Where? Inside the bone? You don't know, sir. There are um, um, micropolis and nanopolis architectures inside the water, inside your bone, and then there is a fluid transmission. Oh, in my brain, uh, there is a big skull. No, there are trigeminal nerves, which is which is connecting probably of your of your uh, skin muscle um, of the head. Uh, and they they leak, pass it through to the to the brain. 
So, if you think there is no connection, there was, there is connection. And uh, um, there is not a single place where the connection is, is moved. So, some people told me we were getting high frequency signal from the head. They said it could be because of the sweat. Come on, EEG is because of the sweat. You have no problem in accepting EEG, that is 1 hertz to 40 hertz. But when I say that it will be megahertz, kilohertz, gigahertz, and terahertz, all the frequencies together, and then there will be superposition of different kind of time domain, your signals, and that is giving you thought to the conscious experience then you must understand that uh, that all these kind of beautiful architectures that uh, that um, matter um, is has been assigned to that matter is doing beautiful thing a part of that information a significant part of that information is leaked through the water channels and when uh, water channel is is doing this uh, if, if a high frequency signal Say I have a one megahertz signal. You know how long is the wavelength? Roughly say 300, 400 meters. Meters, 400 meter. One human is 1.5, 1.7, 2 meters, 2.2 max. I'm talking about wavelength which is millimeters or uh, centimeters long. So that kind of um, wavelength could also be there between megahertz to gigahertz in this particular domain so uh, so this is important that you understand that electromagnetic signal uh, especially magnetic signal passes through entire um, entirety of um, water channel it means that if there is a local vibration at any part of the protein and if that is in megahertz then every single protein in your body will get a pinch of it, a fraction of it. And that is another beautiful thing. Since all are connected, of course, diffuse channel, there are huge thermal uh, noise. So I'm not saying that thermal channel is used. I'm saying 20 gigahertz to 77 gigahertz, the region where you find microwave uh, is acting because thermal barrier, the 5 to 6 terahertz region is the barrier. Below that, you will find, you will move towards a hard level where my human expression comes in, human cognition comes in. So 10 to the power 12 hertz to 1 hertz, this region is protected by water channel, 20 gigahertz to 77 years. 20 gigahertz is when you use microwave oven in your room to cook. You use that kind of um, uh, 20, 20, 20 gigahertz or, or that region signal. So, and, uh, so uh, the signal that is generated magnetic vortices anywhere produced in the in the in the body uh, water is the best channel to to transport without damping electromagnetic field of course gets damped but when there are ions in the water when there are less ions if we do not consider much ions then it doesn't if protein doesn't uh, if uh, of course uh, uh, it, it, it will it will get it done but it will go to certain distance that distance is much much more than than, than what you can think of and uh, it's a whole spectrum so water is protecting the heat the thermal noise but at the same time water is allowing when it's 20 gigahertz to 77 gigahertz the sharp peaks that you see that one is allowing uh, um, uh, the signal, anything that is produced to be to get reflected back, it is water that is creating a shield. You can consider water is creating a cavity all side in, in, uh, inside your body and allowing the molecular scale information processing to be architectured. So if we forget the matter, for a moment we delete all the matters, we clearly see that water has become what I am today and every single life form, every single plan, plant, every single um, farm and all the kind of life form. How it happened? Because water can could take any shape 4.5 billion years ago when there was no life form, water came. And when water started taking shape of everything, and then what happened was water started building up intelligent structures or water started building up 
regular information processing vortices in water or that when you put a little drop of a of a stone on a on a on a water it starts creating ripples or vortices and then matter came in so so the little uh, turbulence little ripples of water was the first signature first sign of life and consciousness